Good day everyone and once again we're back together and uh, still looking at that uh, IEB exam. Alright, so I'm going to be taking random questions, um, you know, obviously in line with the suggestions that you guys have uh, obviously asked for. So if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you're part of the family, hit that subscribe button. And of course, uh, you can always get in touch with us. All our information is on the description of this video. And uh, right, let's get right into the question. Um, so I've got a question here based on, you know, um, uh, calculating the cost. All right. And it says uh, a pump is connected to a water tank, right, to uh, pump rainwater into a house. They say the pump is rated at 750 watts and it is connected to a 240 volt main supply. Right. Now they want us to calculate. Uh, they said, what current will the pump draw when operating at 240 volts? So in this case, uh, we're given the uh, the power rating uh, of it. OK. And as well as voltage. So what we're simply going to do. OK, we're just simply going to say, right. Uh, so for our power, we know power is voltage multiplied by current. OK, so we already have the power, uh, 750 watts, and our voltage in this case is 240 watts, and we're looking for the current. OK, so uh, obviously we can divide both sides by 240. OK, and we can say, well, that's 750 divided by 240, and I get a current of, uh, so my current will be, 3.125 okay uh, of course if we are strictly required to use um, uh, two decimals in this case that would be a uh, 3.13 all right so that's our uh, current so remember when it comes to power there are those three uh, equations that or formulae rather that we have uh, but in this case this one was the most relevant one because we both have the power and the voltage and we wanted the current. All right. Now let's get into the cost calculation. Now, they say to us the cost of electricity is 100 and uh, sorry, it's 120 per kilowatt hour. Right. Um, and they say the uh, calculate rather the cost of using the pump continuously. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to look for um, you know, how to calculate the, the, the amount that, or rather the cost in this case, uh, to use the pump continuously. And this is for 20 minutes, right? Now, of course, the rate at which you pay this amount is said to be 120, uh, 120 cents. Okay, this is per kilowatt hour. So in order for you to calculate the cost, what you must do is that you must obviously multiply this rate by the amount in kilowatt hours, by the amount of energy that you use in kilowatt hours. OK, so remember, so what we're going to do is we need to have our power in kilowatts and our time in hours. So that's the trick behind it. Right. So um, remember, power is 750 watts. So how do I convert to kilowatts? You just simply divide by a thousand. So it means this will be 0 0.75 kilowatts. OK, so I'm expressing the power in kilowatts. Right. Um, and now what am I left with? With the time. So time must be expressed in hours. So remember they'd given us 20 minutes. Right. So in this case, think about it. So um, 60 minutes is an hour is one hour so in this case what do you do to convert it to hours so 60 divided by 60 will equal to one so it means every time i want to convert time from minutes to hours i need to divide by 60 right so it means that i'm going to take the 20 minutes that i have divided by 60 in this case that will give me 1 over 3, or you can say 0 0.3333, right? I'm just going to leave it as uh, um, 1 over 3, right? So now, remember, 
uh, we say, well, uh, in this case, energy or work done is the amount of power, or rather, let me put it in its original form. Power is energy divided by time. Or in this case, we want the energy. So this is power multiplied by time so, so that we express it in kilowatt hours. So power in kilowatts is 0 0.75. You remember that? Multiplied by the time in hours in this case, that would be, uh, we said 1 over 3, right? Um, and in this case, that will give us 0 0.25 kilowatt hours, okay? So it means this is the amount of energy that is dissipated in 20 minutes, right, in terms of kilowatt hours. So now we're calculating the cost, all right? So the cost will be equal to the rate at which we charge multiplied by the amount of energy that we actually consumed, right? So this is multiplied by the amount of energy, okay? So I'm going to simply say, well, the rate is 120 cents multiplied by the amount of energy, which is 0 0.25. Okay, uh, and of course, uh, you know that 0 0.25 is a quarter. Okay, so what's a quarter of 120? That would be 40 cents. Okay, right. So it means that the cost in this case, or you can say 0 0.4, uh, which in, in fact is going to be 40 cents. All right, I hope that you've got that. So all that we simply did was to convert the, 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 the amount of energy, in this case, uh, to kilowatt hours. Okay, so we said to convert to kilowatts, you divide by 1,000. To convert time into hours, uh, minutes into hours, rather, you divide by 60. So if you are given uh, seconds, in this case, you are going to divide by 3,600 because there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, right? And of course, uh, finally, um, we said you just simply find the energy by taking a power multiplied by time so that it's in kilowatts and in hours as well, right? So in this case, uh, then you multiply to get the cost. You say it's the rate multiplied by the energy, right? I hope that was uh, perfectly understandable, right? And um, obviously, uh, I know that you guys will subscribe and uh, hit the like button and we'll continue just uh, uh, giving you uh, that content that uh, obviously will help you towards preparing for your exams. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Shop, shop.